monthly channeled oracle reading for the month of August 2015. So here we go. We are in the ninth, no, the eighth month of the year. Let's not push it, right? <laughs> I do love September, but I also enjoy August. Can't say I enjoy July. <laughs> Even if you look at uh, White Hawk's monthly reading for July this past year, it wasn't very... Uh, lovely even though there were glimmers of light and fun for the most part we'd be coming through what seemed like a swamp water and up to our chest we're trying to move through emotions and and friction that's kind of holding us back but we're moving forward anyways no matter how slow um, and we do get to the edge where we're about to climb out of um, this swamp water or this very arduous friction like time or energy and we're taking you know the leaves off us and everything else that's come with that territory and we get up on land and it's like it's new land right and so white hawk had been mentioning this all to us and he, he also um, helped us through the dailies that you get on facebook twitter and google plus um he helped us through the dailies and um with that aspect of it and there was one week where it was really really arduous and so i was very i um, grateful that he was able to help us through that. So let's go get him and let's see what uh, the month of August does hold. But I will mention at the end of this, I'm going to mention um, a giveaway that I'm doing. So, you know, tune in right till the end if you want to be part of that giveaway. Okay, see you at the end of this. Okay, let's go get White Hawk and see what he has to say. Oh, no, no. Sorry, away we go. Indeed, indeed, as he says with much enthusiasm regarding the month of August. He says, yes, we have come here with so much glee, hoping that indeed this upcoming month of August will hold some wisdom for us. And when he says that, I'm seeing like a treasure chest full of gold and jewelry. He says, yes, we are all hoping that that pot of gold is at the end of the rainbow. But we can't even say that that we came over a rainbow, he says, because it certainly does not feel as though it was as bright and as lively as a rainbow could be. But nonetheless, to have said that there is a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, indeed you're all in search of that pot of gold, if not still looking for the rainbow. And so what I can tell you about the upcoming month is that indeed the moment the month starts, your arduousness will slip away. And not only will the arduousness slip away, but you will find that new light, new life, new people, new gifts, New, 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 everything new will be coming your way simply because you are able to move through the very arduous energy of July into the very light and fluffy energy of August. And so with that territory comes new, everything anew. And so there is no doubt it will be a very lovely month a month with less to no challenges, but also a month where you find your childlike demeanor will return simply from the joy that will come from being in this month and in this new location and from feeling this very lighthearted energy that is coming our way. So don't dismay, children. Just know, just note that this month has been made especially for you and that all the good you could have been hoping for will now be reaped in this month of August. God bless. God bless. Well, that sounds lovely, don't you think? I think it sounds lovely. There's nothing like moving through fresh air and, you know, think if you think about weather and you think about and you metaphorically use it as, as energy, when you get that stagnant, heavy air, 
you know, the very humid air, if you've ever gone anywhere hot. And there's a difference between a nice, sunny, clear day and a very humid, heavy day. That energy is very difficult to move through, right, when it's very heavy and, you know, you just stand there and you sweat. Like, you don't have to do exert anything for it to be heavy and and hard to move through. Think about it if you're running or doing activity or sports in that energy in that energy it's it's much more difficult and it takes a lot more energy out of you to to uh, perform in that. So then if you look at the lovely airy days, a bright blue sky and spring and and the air is fresh and it's it's cool. It's not cold, it's not warm, it's cool. That is an energy you move through briskly and quickly and easily. So if you think of doing your activities outside in that, it's not hard and it doesn't zap your energy. In fact, it probably gives you energy and helps you to move forward with momentum. So if you can look at it that way, you'll understand perhaps what is coming in August. And it can be, his words can be very reflective of the weather too that perhaps is coming in uh, August, you have to keep in mind um, that the message is meant for many people and there's magic in the message that way, that it has more than one meaning. And in that meaning, it can also reflect the weather perhaps in your area. Now, if I think of the month of July, um, I, it was cooler but it did have some very, very hot, hot days and humid days, and there was rain. And I think it was cooler because of the shift that is occurring in, in this Ottawa area. So it's allowing to us to move through it, even though it was an arduous energy. So I'd be very, very curious to know what our weather will be here in, um, in August. Okay, so I'm looking forward to August. Uh, looking forward to having you guys uh, here through all the uh, weekly channeled readings as well. And I mentioned a giveaway that I was doing, and it's simple. I want to look for a tagline, so when I open up my YouTube um, videos and when I open up my, uh, you know, say good morning on my dailies, um, I want to say, hi, so-and-sos. So as a collectiveness, I want us to say something like, hi, White Hawks Warriors, or hi, I'm Tracy. Now, this is your weekly channeled oracle reading, White Hawks Warriors. So I'm looking for something like that, and I can't come up with it. It has to be of a spiritual nature. It has to have that feel. Like uh, when I go to the Makeup Geek um, station, she always says, Hi, Makeup Geeks, you know, or uh, I'm trying to think of other people. Oh, you know, when you, um, what did they call people that were, um, you know, if you read Twilight or, um, oh, cool. you know, when they kind of, you, you're termed something within a group. You know, that's what I'm looking for. We are a group. We are a gang. And I want to, to come up with a tagline. So I want you to come up with a tagline that you're going to put in the comment box of my YouTube station. So you're going to have to be a YouTube um, user. YouTube, you're going to have to have a YouTube account. And it's free and it's easy. And they don't bug you and you're safe. So put what you think would be a good tagline for me to open with to call us all as a collective and um, put that in the YouTube comment box. You have to be a subscriber on my YouTube station. You ha So if you haven't subscribed, please do. You also have to um, like my Facebook page and my Facebook page, the description, uh, sorry, is in the description box. The link to my Facebook page is in the description box and uh, you can easily get to it from there. So like that. So I said comment in the YouTube box with the tagline that you think would, would work really well. And you can enter this more than once, by the way. So give her, just give her. Um, like the Facebook page, like my YouTube uh, station, and that's my dog barking. Sorry about that, guys. Grumpy. Hey, Grumpy. Stop barking. Um, and I will mention who the winner is on August 10th. You get a free 30-minute private reading with White Hawk and I that uh, comes to you via a, a link in your email or your YouTube station or anything like that. And that's probably as clear as my day. Hmm. I'll write it at the end here so that you understand. So I'm looking forward to hear what your ideas are like, you know, 
I've heard other ones like spirit junkies, and I think that's really good too, but I can't steal their tagline. So we're no, no stealing, by the way. No stealing. It's got to be your own creation. So get those thesauruses out. Get, get, that, get that brain going and just come up with some really good ones. No matter how stupid you think you are, put them in the comment box. Can't, can't wait to look forward to them. And maybe I'll even read some fun ones out during the, the upcoming weeks. All right, looking forward to them. Thanks for attending here with me as always. God bless.